Holds and cycles are an animator's best friend. They save us time because they reduce the number of drawings that we need to do to fill a certain amount of time. Now a hold is when you simply hold on a drawing for a certain amount of time. And a cycle, of course, is when you have a series of drawings that you loop and repeat multiple times. So a cycling hold is a hold that also has a cycle included. This is something that you want to use when your style or the imagery that you're using needs a little bit of vibration. So I have created here a little bit of animation. This is the rough animation of a hawk taking flight. And so if I step through this, you can see that the hawk sort of stays in place for just a couple frames and then it takes off. Now, what if I want to extend that hold at the beginning and have the hawk sit there for like two seconds before it takes off? So I've done a cleaned up version of my frames. And in this version, I just hold on the first frame. So I've extended this first frame out for two seconds, as you can see here, and then the animation starts. So that looks like this. Now, the problem with having this just be one drawing that's extended out is that the rough pencil lines that I'm using have a fair bit of vibration to them. And so this first frame, it sort of just looks dead. It looks like it's, uh, you know, the video is frozen or something like that. And this can be particularly important if you're holding in the middle of a scene rather than right at the beginning. Like if you have a character that is moving and then you want it to hit a pose and sort of hold on that pose for one second. If you have a really clean sort of vector style look with very precise lines, then holding on one frame is probably not going to be a problem. However, if you have a more painterly look or looser line work, then having a cycling hold can help your drawing maintain that feeling of vibrancy in life. So what that really looks like is taking that first drawing and then tracing over it multiple times. Now you can decide how many drawings your cycling hold should have. The minimum number would be three. If you just have two, it looks like it's strobing back and forth. And three, you can kind of tell there's this like pulsing vibration. So if I'm trying to do more full animation and I have the time, I usually extend it out to four or six drawings. And so that's what this version looks like. I have six drawings and they are looped roughly four times each before the bird flies away. One little tip when creating these cycling holds is to always trace from the same drawing. So if you're creating this, you would trace drawing number two from drawing number one, and then you would also trace drawing number three from drawing number one and drawing number four from drawing number one. If you trace drawing number three from drawing number two and then drawing number four from drawing number three, you start to get this strange evolution of the shapes just from the minute little changes that happen drawing to drawing. And you may find that your character starts to get off model or the volume starts to shrink or to grow. And so tracing from the very first drawing each time keeps that from happening. Okay, so what if this vibration is just a little bit too obvious? We don't want the lines to draw too much attention to themselves. Well, here's another little trick that you can do. If you take that still drawing that we had before and you have that underneath and then you do just a little bit of light going over the line work. I'll show you what that looks like without the underlayer. You can see there's just this really light little bit of line work. It doesn't fully define the shape of the hawk. Um, but when I put that base layer on, the base layer provides some stability, while the little bit of line work that I've done provides just that little bit of line shimmer. So we get just this little bit of life in the line work that helps us anticipate that the bird is about to move and take off. And of course you can do this if the character is colored as well. You can cycle the texture of the paint or whatever material you're using. Cycling holds just up the production value just a little bit depending on the style that you're using.